In this video, I will give you a short introduction to the Interface Designer. I will show you an overview of the Interface Designer work area. How to set the user interface language. Workspace help tools, like Grid and Snap. How to add a background, images and buttons. And how to align, group, layer, rotate and resize elements. This is the interface designer work area. In the center you have the workspace, where you will create the graphical layout of your project. To the right, you have the properties of the current selected item on the workspace. At the moment it is the background that is selected. To the left, you find some build-in graphical elements. You can also save your own custom elements, so you have them available here. Just above, you have your different pages and resolutions. At the top, you have all the controls you need to create your user interface. At first, let's have a look at the user interface setting. This is the language of the loading screen, error messages and other system pop-ups that the user may see. We leave it on English. Next is the page and resolution. Here you can add more pages and resolutions to your project. More details on these will be shown in other videos. I will skip the elements for now, and show you the workspace help tools. First we have the rulers. They are guidelines for the workspace, and can give you an indication of the pixel position of your elements. You can switch them off, or on as you like. Next is the grid. The grid can give you guidelines on the workspace, that will make it easy to place elements so they are aligned. You have a choice of different size grids. Let's enable the large grid. Next is Snap. Snap helps you align elements, by making them snap to the grid. Or in alignment to other elements. Project Designer works with a master page. Its content will be visible on all pages. Just like a master page in PowerPoint. Elements on this page will be shown on every page in the project. So here we will set the background. You can set a background color or use an image as the background. You can also clear the background if needed. Here we will choose an image. And choose the background image. Now that the background has been set, we will add an image. Select the Sirius logo. And click open. Now drag it into place. You can add more images if you like. Select. And open. Then drag it into place. Next we need a power button. There is one here we can use. Drag it onto the workspace, and use the arrow keys to nudge it into place. This is the elements which I want to show on all pages. So I will switch to the main page. On the main page, I would like to add some buttons. So first switch off all filters. Then find the tabletop filter. Here we add the VGA button. And then a HDMI button. Now we need to align the buttons. To align it next to the VGA button, then select it as the first element. Then hold control down on your keyboard, and select the second button. Then click adjust from the menu. Here you have different options to align your elements. We will choose align middle. Now that the buttons has been aligned, then you can group them together. The buttons has now been grouped, and you can move, resize, rotate and work with them as a group. Let us continue improving the layout, by adding another image. Select the image of the table. 
and drag it into place. The problem is that it is placed on top of the buttons. We need to move it behind the buttons. So click send backward. Here we can send it all the way to the back, by clicking send to back. Now it has been placed behind the buttons. You can also move elements forward if needed. Let's add another image. Select the easy connect. And click open. And drag it into place. To rotate the image click on rotate. Here you can rotate the image 45 or 90 degrees to the left or right. Click on rotate 90 degrees to the left. You can also enter an exact angle in the elements properties to the right. Now we just need to add the last image. Select the easy connect line. And click open. And drag it next to the easy connect. If you need to change the size of the image, then it can be set at the top. Or in the properties to the right. Now we can move the button group into place. And the layout is ready for use. Thanks for watching. Find more information on eats.dk.